Hi everyone, in this video we are going to see how to determine the angle between a pair of tangents drawn from an external point to a given circle. Let's suppose we have a circle like this whose equation is x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equals 0. Obviously the location of the center would be at negative g comma negative f. So let's assume that the equation of the circle is given and also let's assume that the coordinates of an external point p are also given. In this case, I have assumed the coordinates to be x sub 1 comma y sub 1. So essentially two things are given here, the equation of the circle and the coordinates of the external point P. And from that point, we have drawn the pair of tangents and let's suppose the points of contact are A and B. And for this pair of tangents, we have to find the angle between them which is essentially the angle APB or BPA and I have denoted that angle to be 2 times theta. So that is the angle that we have to determine in terms of the other given information. In order to do the derivation, I have to do a little bit of construction here. First, I am going to connect the center with the points of contact and each of them would represent the radius of the circle. I mean CA or CB, they would represent the radius of the circle. Next, I am going to join the external point with the center. Also from a previous theorem, we know that the angle between the radius and the tangent at the point of contact is always a 90 degree angle. So in this case, we can say that the angle CAP will be 90 degree and similarly angle CBP will also be equal to 90 degree. Now let's think about these two triangles, the triangle CAP and the triangle CBP. For these two triangles, CA is equal to CB and CP is a common side which is actually the hypotenuse for the two right triangles. So based on the RHS criteria of congruence, we can say that these two triangles would be congruent triangles. Here we have two right triangles and we have the hypotenuse same and one of the sides equal. Then these two triangles would be congruent triangles. And I have noted that here that triangle CAP will be congruent to triangle CBP. Now if you think about the angle APB, that is actually 2 times theta. Now angle CPA and angle CPB, they will be equal angles. They will be corresponding angles opposite to the equal sides. So each of those little angles would be equal. I mean the angle CPA and the angle CPB, they would be equal. Then obviously each of them will be equal to theta. And also PA will be equal to PB, that is the length of the tangent. In a previous video, we have seen how to calculate the length of the tangent drawn from an external point to a given circle and the formula is like this. Length is equal to square root of x sub 1 squared plus y sub 1 squared plus 2g x sub 1 plus 2f y sub 1 plus c. In this case, x sub 1 and y sub 1, they are the coordinates of the external point P and g and f, they come from the equation of the given circle. Now what is the radius of this circle? Because we know the equation, from there we can easily derive the radius. We know radius is equal to square root of g squared plus f squared minus c. So from the given information, we are able to calculate the length of the tangent, I mean the length of PA and the radius. And from this information, what would be tangent of theta? Well, we can say tangent of theta would be r over l. If we consider one of those right triangles, let's say triangle CAP. In that triangle, if you think about tangent of theta, that would be r over l. But here we have to find out the value of 2 times theta. That is the angle that we are trying to determine, right? the angle APB. So ultimately, we have to somehow come up with some sort of a trigonometrical relationship with 2 times theta. Now let's think about tangent of 2 times theta. Can we express tangent of 2 times theta in terms of tangent of theta? If we can do that, then we can easily calculate it because you already know the value of tangent of theta which is r over l. r is known, l is known. So tangent of theta is known. So if we can somehow express tangent of 2 theta in terms of tangent of theta, then our problem is solved. And here I have noted tangent of 2 theta is equal to 2 times tangent of theta over 1 minus tangent square of theta. That comes straight from the trigonometry of multiple angles. Now here, let's plug in the value of tangent of theta. Since we have been able to derive the value of tangent of theta, let's just plug in that value. And that's exactly what I have done here. Now let's try to simplify this. So it is going to look like this. And if we simplify it a little further, it is going to look like this. And then if we convert that into a multiplication form, then it is going to look like this. And as you can see, one L in the denominator and one L in the numerator, they will cancel out each other. So in the numerator, we are going to be left with two times R times L. And in the denominator, we will have L squared minus R squared. And this is the value of tangent of two times theta. 
Now what would be the value of 2 times theta? Well we can take a tangent inverse of this value right here. So we can say 2 times theta will be equal to tangent inverse of 2 times r times l over l square minus r square. And if you think about l and r, both quantities are actually known from the given equation of the circle and the coordinates of the external point p. We should be able to easily calculate the value of l and r and then we just need to plug in the values of r and l and then we should be able to calculate the value of 2 times theta and that is exactly what we needed to derive that's our formula i hope everything made sense so far next we are going to take an example let's suppose we have an example like this that says find the angle between the pair of tangents drawn from point p which is located at 2 comma 3 onto the circle whose equation has been given as x squared plus y squared plus 6x plus 4y plus 8 equals 0 so let's get started with the solution now in this case what are x sub 1 and y sub 1 well that's actually 2 comma 3 so x sub 1 is 2 and y sub 1 is 3 I mean x sub 1 is positive 2 and y sub 1 is positive 3 and from the given equation let's try to find out the values of g and f so here 2gx is equivalent to 6 times x and from there we can say g is equal to positive 3 and similarly 2fy is equivalent to 4 times y so from there we can say f is equal to positive 2 now let's try to calculate the length of the tangent we know the formula for the length it is square root of x sub 1 square plus y sub 1 square plus 2g x sub 1 plus 2f y sub 1 plus c now let's plug in the values of x sub 1 y sub 1 g f and c by the way in this case c is actually positive 8 that's in the given equation of the circle so if we plug in the values it's going to look like this so it will be square root of 2 square plus 3 square plus 6 times 2 plus 4 times 3 plus 8 because 2g is equal to 6 and 2f is equal to 4. So the value going to look like this. And if we simplify it a little bit, it is going to look like square root of 4 plus 9 plus 12 plus 12 plus 8. And that simplifies to square root of 45. And that can be written as 3 times square root of 5. Next, let's calculate the value of r. Well, we know r is equal to square root of g squared plus f squared minus c. And if we plug in the values, it's going to look like this. It will be 3 squared plus 2 squared minus 8. And that will be equal to square root of 5. So now we have the length, we have the radius. Now let's just plug in these values in the formula for the angle between the pair of tangents. Angle between the pair of tangents is actually equal to tangent inverse of 2RL over L squared minus R squared. And next I'm going to just plug in the values and simplify it. So it will be tangent inverse of 2 times r is square root of 5 and l is 3 times square root of 5 over l squared minus r squared so that would be 3 times square root of 5 whole squared minus square root of 5 squared and if we simplify this it will look like tangent inverse of 30 in the numerator and in the denominator we will have 45 minus 5 so that would be actually 40 so it will be tangent inverse of 30 over 40 and that can be written as tangent inverse of 3 over 4 if we divide both the numerator and the denominator by a 10, we are going to be left with 3 over 4 there. And tangent inverse of 3 over 4 actually translates to 36 degree and 52 minute approximately. And that is the answer for this question. That is the angle between the pair of tangents drawn from the given point P onto the given circle. I hope everything made sense. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.